If you are in the southeast like I am, you've probably had about two weeks now of incredibly high unforgiving temperatures without very much rain. Today is the first day that we've had that's even remotely windy and cool. And by cool, I mean that it's 85 degrees at about 8.30 in the morning. So that has impacted our tomatoes in some kind of predictable and sad ways. <laughs> but I do want to show you what to look out for with your tomato plants in incredibly high temperatures and a couple of things that you can do about it. We have got a row of tomato plants here and you can see that there's a really noticeable difference. So towards the bottom, uh, this would have taken place, I don't know, maybe about a month ago. We have some really massive promising tomatoes. I can't wait until those uh, start to change color. And you'll notice that down the row, uh, it's about the same, right at the same height line. But then as we get taller, the more recent new growth, uh, we start to notice this. Let's see if I can focus in on it. There you go. The blossoms here are drying up, turning brown, and sometimes just falling off before they can be pollinated, before any fruit takes place. Blossom drop is an unfortunate side effect of having really inconsistent or really high temperatures for a long period of time. Since this is the result of high temperatures, there's really not a ton that you can do unless you're growing in a greenhouse or a climate controlled space. A lot of tomato varieties are going to be too tall to cover. Um, but that's ideally what you would want to do is try to get the tomatoes some shade to help keep them cool. Um, that is one really good option. Of course, you don't want it to be too much shade because they need the sun to grow. Another really good option is mulching your garden if you have not already. Because mulch just helps to keep the roots cool. So I'm actually going to take out this little weed. We don't need you. But this mulch is nothing special. We just had a pine tree that was uh, removed from our property because it was too close to the house and the branches were, you know, at risk of falling onto the home. Um, so we just had them create chips for us and we're using that as mulch um, all throughout our raised garden beds and it has helped a lot. Tomatoes also are known to like infrequent but deep waterings. And while that's probably going to remain true throughout most of the country, in the Southeast, we might want to switch it up a little bit and offer them more water than what we normally would. So if you would water your tomatoes three days a week and you would give them a nice deep soaking, maybe you can consider doing more frequent watering just to help keep them cool and to minimize the amount of uh, blossom drop that you have. So there isn't much to be done for the blossoms that have already dropped or wilted, but I have switched up the watering schedule and I noticed that there are some new blossoms that are showing up and they're still mostly yellow um, rather than turning brown and wilting. And this has been maybe, maybe just about two days um, after changing up our schedule. So I'm hoping that this is permanently a good sign that we are in the right direction. All right, so a quick recap. If you are in your garden and you notice that your tomato blossoms are turning brown, shriveling up and falling off without any fruit in sight, consider first your temperature. If it is a temperature related issue, there's a couple of things you can do and you are not powerless. First, mulch your plants if you have not already. Put some mulch down, make it at least, I don't know, half an inch thick, kind of play around with it and see what you can do there. You can also increase your watering schedule. You never want your tomato roots to just sit in saturated soil, right? But you do want to increase the amount of water that they're getting so that your plants can stay cool. Thirdly, and sometimes most difficultly, <laughs> uh, try to give them some shade if you can. That can even look like an umbrella stand if it's large enough. Um, Ikea sells some of those like really huge ones that are meant to go on like porches and patios. Drag that thing downstairs. Give your tomatoes shade, especially on those days that are going to be 100 plus. Um, so those are just a couple of tips from an absolute novice on how you can help your tomatoes stay cool and hopefully prevent that drop, blossom drop. Have a good one.